Good day. It is an honor to present to you one of the research of San Jose Elementary School, GMA Cavite. Our research is Attitudes of Regular Teachers Towards Inclusive Education, Basis for the Development Program. Authors are Annie C. Maraan, SPET teacher, Leila Pirinillo, SPET teacher, and yours truly, Erolisa Irugacion, Principal Tree of San Jose Elementary School. Inclusive education is a response to global concerns that all children have the right to access a complete free and compulsory education that is responsive to the needs and relevant to their lives. This study was designed to identify the barriers of implementing principles and to analyze the teacher's attitudes towards inclusive education. The primary purpose of objective of the study is to assess and analyze the attitudes of regular teachers towards inclusive education and to identify the hindering factors for the development program. According to Pedeliadu and Lampropolo, one of the major discussions about inclusion of students with special needs has been the attitudes of the regular teachers. Here are our research questions. Number one. What are the attitudes of regular teachers towards inclusive education? What is the impact of the attitudes of teachers to the success of inclusive education? 3. Based on the result, what attitudes of regular teachers are essential for the improvement of the inclusive education program? 4. What recommendations for regular teachers to improve attitudes for the development of inclusive education? Here, uh, is our scope and limitation. This study is limited to 76 regular teachers of San Jose Elementary School, GMA, Cavite. For our research methodology, mean percentile score was utilized to analyze the teacher survey questionnaire. Leachman thesis of analysis was used to classify the positive and negative attitude of the teacher in the questionnaire. Field notes was also done for focus group discussion and methodological triangulation was conducted to check and establish the validity of the study. Based on the mean percentile score of survey questionnaire, the following attitude revealed that the need of an intervention to change the attitude of the regular teacher towards inclusive education. Based on Lichman thesis of analysis, the positive attitude had a weighted mean of 3.31 with verbal interpretation of neutral. The negative attitude had total weighted mean of 3.19 with verbal interpretation of neutral. The following are data interpreted by the researcher through the field notes during the FGD. The teacher are in need of trainings on sign language for Elsen who are deaf, training for behavior management technique for Elsen who are diagnosed autistic and with an aggressive behavior, and workshop to modify the lesson for the Elsen who are diagnosed with moderate level of intellectual disabilities so that they can properly accommodate the Elsen in the regular class. The teacher are willing to help, but they are in need of help because of their insufficient knowledge of accommod accommodating the LSEN in the regular class. The teacher are in need of exposure to the activities for the LSEN. It is an activity or program that can enlighten their mind and make them feel like of having LSEN in the class. In the light of the findings, the researchers desire to make the following recommendations. In service training about sign language, behavior management techniques, and workshop for the modification of the lesson of the LSEN should be conducted for the regular teachers to respond to their needs on how to accommodate the LSEN in the regular class to provide the knowledge and skills needed. Open communication to all the internal and external stakeholders about the inclusive education program to sustain the positive attitudes of regular teachers towards inclusion. Project MOVI, Making Our School Value Inclusive Education, is a program of our school for the promotion of inclusive education. Under this program, 
the school will conduct a day with the LSEN and the regular teachers. This activity will be done every Friday during socialization class of LSEN. The regular teachers will join the scheduled activities for the SPED Center to give them the idea on how to deal with the LSEN and realize the uniqueness of every learner. Assign a teacher to sign or interpret the school activities and during flag ceremony for the benefits of the LSEN who are deaf and the whole school community can learn the sign language. Reorientation of regular teachers about the importance of inclusive education and how it can help all the children accept the person with disabilities, not only the school, but also in the community. This concluded our research, Attitudes of Regular Teachers Towards Inclusive Education, Basis for the Development Program.